a blessed day of resurrection to you and your church. I know that this festival is a little different today than we are traditionally used to, but I am thankful that we are able to make the most out of difficult circumstances. If you're able to do so right now in this very moment, I encourage you to head over to our Messiah Facebook page for a moment. And if you're able to post a photo of yourself, a selfie, uh, if you're able, so that we might get a little bit of a sense of community going, even as we're separated in our homes. Uh, you can even pause the video for a second here if you need to do that now. Katie's going to help us out. Can you do group selfies? Groupies? Yes, group selfies. Groupies. If you're with uh, another person or two or three okay. or four. Here, we do ours now. Perfect. Um, if you are joining us for the first time or are still relatively new to this community, uh, and if you'd like to dig a little deeper and figure out who we are as a congregation, um, we invite you to check out our website, messiahlindhurst.org, and of course our Facebook page. If you Google uh, Messiah Lutheran Church on Facebook, or if you search us on Facebook, you should be able to find us. Um, and send us a note, either through the website or through the Facebook page. Give us a call, what have you. We'd love to connect and get to know each other a little better. And now, to prepare for today's service, we invite you to grab a candle and light it, as is our tradition, or pull the lamp close if you uh, aren't able to have open flame or don't have candles with you. We also invite you to grab a bowl and water. This will be uh, for giving thanks for the gift of baptism this morning. And of course, we invite you to have your bulletin with you, maybe on a tablet or a laptop uh, or printed if you've got a printer at home and pr pr prefer to do it that way. Um, and you can follow along with the responses at home. And so now as God gathers us on this day of resurrection, we invite you to prepare for worship with the music of the prelude. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are raised with him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O oh God. From the beginning, you created us in your image and planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert, you promised pools of water for the parched, and you gave us water from the rock. When we did not know the way, you sent the good shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross, you watered us from Jesus' wounded side, 
and on this day you shower us again with the water of life. We praise you for your salvation through water, for the water in our daily lives, and for all water everywhere. Bathe us in your forgiveness, grace, and love. Satisfy the thirsty, and give us the life only you can give. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. My beloved child of God. You are a beloved child of God. And you are beloved children of God. <laughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. Increase in our minds and hearts the risen life we share with Christ, and help us to grow as your people toward the fullness of eternal life with you, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The first reading is from Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel and they shall be my people. Thurs thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with, with an everlasting love, therefore I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again I will build you and you shall be built, O virgin Israel. Again you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit, for there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. Word of God, word of life. Give thanks to the Lord, for the Lord is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel, Israel now declare, God's, God's mercy, mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. Shouts of rejoicing and salvation echo in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord acts valiantly. I, I shall not die, die but live, live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord indeed punished me sorely, but did not hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. Here the righteous may enter. I give thanks to you, for you have answered me. And you, you have, have become, become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. By the, the Lord, Lord this has been, been done. done. It, it is, is marvelous, marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The second reading is from Acts. Peter began to speak to the people. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear. 
not to all the people, but to us, who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Word of God, word of life. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took a hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers, and go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Resurrection blessings, dear church. I give thanks that this festival today continues, even if it is much different than our usual routine. For the story continues to be told today, and we continue to be God's people. And the divine love of Christ continues to meet us even when we are sequestered in our homes. But I do miss being together in person, face to face. I miss shaking hands and giving high fives and fist bumps. I miss the smell of the building, as odd as it is sometimes, and the creaks of the doors and the sounds of shoes on the slate floor and on the steps of the chancel, not to mention all the pollen of those lilies on mornings such as this one. But more importantly, I miss those intuitions that are communicated by simply sharing space together. That sense of knowing that we get with one another when we've had a bad week or a hard week or a good week or a week with some of all of the above. And of course, I also miss receiving communion and Christ's presence there in bread and in wine which is a practice of the faith that often tells me more about God's love for me in a single instant than most sermons or Bible studies have taught me throughout my entire life. Being together, face to face, eating and drinking and singing and sharing, it all matters. It matters a lot. And so it is extra hard when we arrive at these holy days and we're here in our homes, separated by digital screens and perhaps masks and gloves and all the other accoutrements of social distancing that we are experiencing these days. But perhaps Easter is about something bigger than simply showing up to church in the same way we always have in the past. 
for that first day of resurrection. And those early followers of Jesus trying to make sense of what had happened, they didn't simply follow in the way that had gone before them, <laughs> for they were covering new ground and making sense of these new experiences they were having, even with all the many uncertainties along the way. But first of all, no one was expecting Jesus to have been killed in the first place, so there's that. But then they also weren't expecting his life to emerge beyond death in the ways that it did. And so to process what this world-changing, life-changing, empire-altering event meant for them, they told the stories of the faith. Stories of empty tombs and angelic messengers and saviors along the way and even stories of doubting friends all complete with a thread through them all of God's presence with them, especially when they least expected such a thing to be possible. And I wonder if that same thing isn't true for us today as well. And so I invite you, beloved church, on this day of resurrection, this Easter day that is so different from many before it, I invite you to, like Mary Magdalene and the other Mary with her, to keep watch for the surprise of God's resurrection life to happen in the places where we least expect it to be. I invite you to face boldly the hard realities of death, to face those empty tombs, the tombs we don't even know are empty yet, and listen for that voice among us, those messengers that come to us who tell us again and again that death will not have the final word for us and that God is with us, even if we're unsure as to what exactly that all means just yet. So dear church, resurrection blessings to you this day. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Our hymn of the day is another melody, another tune that's common in the Tizé community in France, as we've been doing the last few weeks. This one is called Be Not Afraid. It comes from the words from that angelic messenger we hear in the scripture. It's number 388 in your hymnal. If you've got a hymnal at home, you can turn to number 388. But otherwise, follow along with us. It's very easy to learn. Uh, the words are, be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. We'll sing it through once, and then we'll sing it through repeatedly, and I invite you to join with us as we sing it over and over again. So, be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Last time, be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia.
Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of resurrection, from the very beginning, you give the church the gift of women as your witnesses, as preachers, teachers, and leaders. Open our ears to their proclamation this day and always, Lord, in your mercy. All your creation praises you. The earth hums, the seas pulse, the stars shine, and the galaxies whirl in glorious harmonies to honor you. Let us hear and blend our voices in the song, Lord, in your mercy. The countries of the world experience disunity and conflict. We set our minds on fear and greed rather than on your rule of justice and steadfast love. Build up all countries on your cornerstone of peace. Lord, in your mercy. We still weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, assuring them of your loving presence. And we also pray for Judy, Lynn, Will, Jay, Janie, Denise and Rich, Karen, Lisa, Brian, Takaya, Helen, and Julia. Lord, in your mercy. Bless the creative and helpful service of worship leaders this day. Musicians, ushers, greeters, worship assistants, preachers, readers, and all others who provide welcome and hospitality in our midst. Lord, in your mercy. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who have died. Inspire us to live our lives in this resurrection hope and draw us to you in our final days. Lord, in your mercy. With bold confidence in your love, Almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Peace be with you. We invite you to share the peace with those around you or send a text message or an email or a quick note to someone that you know is watching along today um, as we share God's peace among us broadly. For our offering, uh, we continue to remind you uh, that uh, gifts and offerings can be made in a variety of ways, both to the congregation and to other organizations um, that are in need of support these days. Um, you can give to the church either on our website or through the mail, um, but I know there are also many other ministry partners and organizations doing good work in the world right now that also need support. Um, so uh, I know there's more information available on our denomination's website, elca.org. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll make, uh, make the most of it and make the biggest impact we're able to at this time. Let us pray. O God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need, Awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end, bring all the world to your feast through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our and Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As God has gathered us and filled our hearts with the gospel, now God sends us forth to serve in mission. Let us pray. Gracious God, through belief in Christ, and through the presence of the Holy Spirit within us, empower us to share the word, care and support each other and God's community, worship as a family in Christ, and be Christ-like examples to those whose lives we touch. Amen. Amen. May the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead 
raise you to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. We'll sing Be Not Afraid a few more times. Um, and we invite you afterwards, uh, after we're dismissed, uh, maybe perhaps during the postlude, uh, pull up Facebook again. See if anyone else has, has posted another photo um, of, of them and their family. Make a little comment there as, as you're able. Uh, we also want to give thanks for the artwork today in our little at-home sanctuary. We've got a few pieces from our godchildren here. Um, from Alex and Simon. So we give thanks for them and our lives, and it's good to be able to remember one another even when we're separated. Mm -hmm. So be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. One more time. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Be not afraid, sing out for joy, Christ is risen, alleluia. Christ is risen, just as he said. Go in peace, share the good news, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia. alleluia.